We are here for pizza and pens with Italian legend, Christian Vieri. Thank oh. you. Thank you for coming on. How are you? Uh, so we brought you some pizza yeah, today. This is horrible. <laughs> horrible just, pizza. Look, look, yeah, look, look, look at the face of this pizza. It's disgusting. So this is exactly why we bring American pizza to an Italian legend, <laughs> so we can absolutely tear it apart. I can't, um, can't do you want to take a bite? You don't have no, to. No, I'm okay, man. I'm no. on a diet. From I just started a diet five minutes ago. <laughs> so you were born in Italy, yeah, and then moved to Australia. Yes. Talk about the differences of growing up in both places. Your favorite and least favorite well, part. I grew up with kangaroos. Right. And when I went to Italy, I didn't see any kangaroos. No. <laughs> it's, it's you know it's different. You got. You do lots of sports there. Yeah. So I was playing cricket. Yeah. Playing touch rugby. Uh, athletics, and soccer. And when you go to Italy, there's only one sport: soccer. Yeah. Or you play soccer, you don't play nothing. Right. So, uh, sports-wise, Australia they give you a lot of sports. Mm -hmm. uh, Italy, you focus ninety percent on on soccer. So they say one of your best attributes was your physicality on the pitch. Did you get that from rugby in Australia? Or is that something that just came natural? Yeah, it just, just came natural. Yeah. So I was born like this. Right. Uh, but if I didn't play soccer, I would have been probably one of the best batsmen in the world. So I actually heard that you have said that previously. Yeah. And I, I, I mean it. I'm a boy. Yeah, I listened, I listened to a... Uh, briefly, they were, they were speaking about your comments about that on a cricket podcast. And they were not happy... They were like, all these, all these sports people think they can play multiple sports. He said he could have been one of the best batsmen. I was playing, but you, I was playing more cricket than soccer. Right. So these sports people, don't, don't be angry. You know, we, have, we have a lot of things. Right. Relax, guys. Do you ever the, the guys from the podcast, relax, take it easy. <laughs> Do you ever think about... Get a, get a fucking coffee, take it easy. Man. <laughs> Do you ever think about what would have happened in, in an alternate life if you had played cricket instead of instead of football? Would have probably, I don't know, man. Different life. Yeah, different life. Another life in Australia, probably maybe in England. All right, so quick. I used to go see West Indies against Australia. I used to go see the West Indies. Mm -hmm. You follow cricket now? I don't, unfortunately. Steve Richards is one of the best cricketers in the world. Yeah. If I didn't play cricket, tennis. Yeah. I think I think tennis, soccer, then cricket. Tennis more than soccer, I think. Are you a big Nadal fan? I saw that yeah. he was wearing... I'm, I'm a left-hander too. I'm more like John McEnroe, serve and volley. Like, that's my style. So and Nadal... I, I watched his film coming here on Emirates. Yeah. The McEnroe story. Really? Yeah. You a big McEnroe fan? Yeah. Yeah. He's... People say you were a little crazy yourself. Yeah, he's crazy too. Yeah. I guess, I guess that's where the comparison... You know what? The thing is that people say you're crazy when you, when you tell the truth. <laughs> right. They say you're crazy. You know what I mean? So, yeah. what does that mean? That no one tells the truth. Ninety-five percent of the people don't never say the truth. Yeah, I don't know. If I we're, say it's we're being crazy. We're big truth people out here, so <laughs> so we love it. always the truth. So you started a fashion line with Maldini, correct? Yeah, sweet years, sweet years. And I saw that Nadal was re was was wearing a bunch of your yeah, stuff. Yeah, like 15, 20 years ago. You have a good I'm relationship with him still? No, just hi hi. How are you? Yeah, I don't really know him that good. Okay, but a lot a lot of players used to wear our stuff. Yeah. Could you uh, get me some stuff? Or? I mean, we're, we're selling in China. You're selling China, China, Japan. You gotta go to China, Japan. And stuff. <laughs> Rapid fire questions. First thing that comes to your mind. All right? Yeah. Pizza or pasta? Pasta. Funniest teammate you've ever had? Oof. Other than yourself, of course. Because you're well known for your sense of humor. Di Biagio, Lombardo, Di Livio, Ferrara, Peruzzi. Is that one person? Five? No, there's five, five soccer players. Five, okay. You piece yourself like. 24-7. Okay. Uh, favorite goal you ever scored? Atletico. The one from the corner kick. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite city in Italy? Milan. Special. <laughs> favorite city in America? Miami. And Las Vegas. I have to say Las Vegas. So why Las Vegas? Because it's, it's like the, the uh, Disneyland of uh, Erons. <laughs> Disneyland of adults, I love that. Uh, so quickly, before we move on from Miami, P uh, Messi is out at PSG, if you saw that. He's rumored to potentially... Barcelona. You think back I to I want to see him two years in Barcelona, and then three, four years in the MLS. 
Okay. So you still have two more years in Barcelona. Because a lot of people are saying after the World Cup, he kind of checked everything off his checklist. He accomplished everything in club and international football, and but he's ready for the MLS. I think, I think he, li- like he loves Barcelona. That's yeah, that's of what, course. Yeah. You know, a lot of friends know him, so he mm-hmm. talks. He's been there all his life. Yeah. And I think he should play another two, three years in Barcelona. That's his stadium. Mm-hmm. And then come to the MLS. Yeah. Come to America. So on that note, a Saudi club offered him $400 million yeah, a year. per season. Yeah. Would you take that kind of money? Would you have left Italy? But listen, we were making that kind of money. He's got a, a million and a half in the a, a billion and a half in the bank. Right. So fuck. Two hundred more, three hundred more. Right. It doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he makes 130, 140 a year anyway. Right. Of course, for hundred, one or two years, it's a lot of money. Yeah. Right. I think he's gonna go to. I don't know. Yeah. He's thirty six, right? He's getting up there. Yeah. Yeah. So he can play another thing the way he plays. Yeah. 36, 42, so he's got another six years. You think he plays till 42? Yeah, so wow. two in Barcelona, two in uh, Saudi Arabia, so you can get 800. <laughs> and then come to the MLS. A renewed rivalry between Ronaldo and Messi in Saudi oh, Arabia. Oh, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, best defender you played against? Maldini. Favorite goalie to score on? Buffon. Buffon? Yeah. All right, start, bench, cut, Pirlo. Gattuso to Rossi. What does that mean? Start, bench, cut. So, pretty much rank them one to three. The one you would start, the one you would put on the bench, and the other one you would throw They're all away. different. They are different. You know what I mean? So, uh, why rock the throw them away when I can play with all of them? Okay. We all well, we'll together. actually... We'll, we'll actually play together. Play. So, yeah. what the fuck? Let's keep them all. All right, we'll keep them all. <laughs> all right. Start, bench, cut. Mozzarella, Burrata, Stracciatella. Burrata, Stracciatella, Mozzarella. Okay. Best player in the world right now? Messi. Still today? Yeah. Not Mbappe, not Holland? No. No? Okay. Favorite kit you ever wore? Favorite? Mm-hmm. What? Kit. What? Jersey. The national team. Yeah? Italy. Yeah. A certain, a certain year, certain color? Or no, no. It's just, just representing when the... When you put that on, you... It's different. You shoot your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite player to watch in Serie A today? Wait, wait. Who? Yeah, Ozyman and Varaskela from Napoli. You the see the celebrations at home last nah, night? I was with Michele. We were having dinner. We've got, we've got to sign big contracts now. So. <laughs> sign big contracts. <laughs> and finally, the player who reminds you today the most of yourself. Haaland. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so that's perfect. It leads me to my next question. A lot of people say that in that City team, there's three to five different strikers who could be putting the amount of goals that he is. No. No? You think he's special? So the people that told you this, they don't know nothing. Similar to the cricket podcast. Yep. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. No, Haaland's scored thirty-five goals. So it's crazy. Yeah. He's fantastic. Okay. And rank the top five number nines of all time. Van Basten number one. Okay. I think the most complete number nine. Okay. Ronaldo, I'm not gonna put him there number nine. So let's do this. Number nine, because he was he's playing up front. So Ronaldo, yeah. the, the Brazilian. I put him yeah, up yeah. front, okay? You played with him. Yeah. yeah. So, but Van Basten, I think, is the most complete striker. Like left, right, Head. heading, playing wise. You yeah. know what I mean? Like him. Then I put... How long do we have? As long as you need. <laughs> Gigi Riva. He's a 1970 player. Yeah. You don't know him? No. <laughs> no Similar like me. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't heard Christian Vieira yet. Nah, not me. No? Nah. Greatest Italian striker of all time doesn't get in the top five. Wait, wait, we have time, we have time. We have all the time in the world. <laughs> we skipped the pizza. Try the pizza. <laughs> I'll try it while you... I've been to Italy twice. Pelé is not a... Sh- I'm yeah. not going to put him like a center forward. I'll put him like a number 10. It's a good thing you didn't try that. <laughs> this is horrible, man. <laughs> like my shoe. It's like eating your shoe. Hmm. I think my generation, Batistuta, yeah. I put in there. Okay. One more. Does Holland get in? No, but not yet. Too, not too, yeah, early. too, too early. early. Too early. Too early. Too early. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Insegna. You don't know who he is. He's a tank, tank soccer player. Okay. He was good. Not Very better good. than you. And uh, Ruth Gullit. Mm-hmm. I put him up there. Okay. 
Ja, hoe goed het is. Hoe leuk? Ja, Dutch? Ja, ja. Dat hair? Ja. Dat is een goede vraag. Dat was een goede vraag. Dat was een goede vraag. So speaking of Ronaldo. In half an hour, all the players are going to play. 100%. Yeah. Uh, so you and Ronaldo briefly yeah. got to play together. People yeah. said that would have been the greatest strike partnership in the history of world football, if not for injuries. Yeah, I agree. Is that something that, not a regret, but you think back and it's like... That's a, what is that? Can't control it? Yeah, can't control it. It's not yeah. that. Yeah. Again, you play, you destroy everyone. But uh, that's how it is. But we're good on the field and off the field, we have fun. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of fun off the field? Club, club fun. Club, club fun. All right, so that leads me actually to my next question. The greatest story off the pitch, whether it was in training, traveling to a match, after the games listen, at the club, listen. or is that not? It's, no, it's, it's, we have stories 24-7. Yeah. Because you piss yourself laughing every day. Right. Everything, everything's that's like sure. That's the best part so of it's sports. Just, that's, what, that's what I miss, mm -hmm. hanging around with the, my teammates. You know? That's why yeah. in, in, Italy, in Italy now, We're all playing paddle. Yeah, I've seen that. And we're all psycho. Yeah. We're all injured. We go to the hospital every, like every <laughs> every week, 10 days. We've got masseurs, we've got pilates, like we've gone psycho because we don't know what to do, you know? So everyone's yeah. playing paddle. We're competing like like crazy. So now that you've been in America a little, have you heard of pickleball? Yeah, it's different. Different. Yeah, I was walking around this morning. You saw people playing? And The ball is different. It's yeah. like boom. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's very hard. A lot of them, in America, a lot of people playing pickball. Pick yeah. ball. So, in your autobiography, it talked about how when you went to Spain, yeah. although having a fantastic season, you regret leaving Turin. Why? Why? Why do you think? Because that? the thing is that I regret leaving Madrid. I regret leaving Turin because I think that when you're 22, you got to stay in Juventus. We're like. One of the biggest teams. Right, it's a good place to come on. Yeah, so. But I went to a place that was like fantastic. Yeah. And I should have stayed all my life in Spain. Really? Because it's fun. Yeah. You know, it's fun to play in Spain. But I'm not taking nothing away from the other teams because then yeah. I went to Lazio, we won the European Cup. Right. So, and I had the best time of my life there. Then I went to Inter because I wanted to play with Ronaldo and I had the best six years, you know. So, all the years were fantastic. But like, The coach from Atletico, he, he would always say, Antic, that he passed away. Why do you want to go back to Italy when here you got, you do what you want. Right. You go out every night. Oh, really? You score the goals that you want. Yeah. You win every year the, the, the title of the best striker, most yeah. goals. Where do you want to go? Pichichi. Pichichi. Yeah, Pichichi. In, in Italy, it's Catenaccio, like it's a defensive league. Why do you want to go back there when here it's an offensive league? Right. And you, you can score. The goals that you want, you know? And he was right. So as a forward, it's more fun to play in Spain yes, than it is. 100%. Because Italian football is known for its organization, yeah. its defensive legends, yes. Maldini, Carnivaro, oh, everyone. Very hard to score. Does that bother you a little bit, that Italian football is known for defense when no, you are... It's just, it's just the situation. We won four World Cups playing yeah. like that, so... So I have a question for you. Another Test one. your Italian... Another one. Okay. Test your Italian football knowledge. So I know you went to France and got injured and you weren't able to participate in the 06 World Cup. Okay. So Buffon, Cannavaro, Materazzi, Grosso, Zambrotta, Gattuso, mm -hmm. Pirlo, mm -hmm. De Rossi. No, he came on as a sub. Gattuso, Pirlo, okay, that's one there. Tony, Totti. Yep, and then you need the wingers. Camoranesi, sorry, man. Yep, and it's then eight, one more. It's 11. Left. De Rossi came off the bench, left left mid. Gattuso. Ah, one more there was. Yeah, Gattuso and Pirlo in the middle. Camoranesi on the right, and on the left, uh, Grosso, no. Grosso was left forward. Left, left back. I would tell Simone that you don't remember. Perotta. Uh-huh. Perotta. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. We'll make sure that he does not see this, because you, uh, no. you breeze through 10 of 11, and then... I just... I just... <laughs> I thought I said 11. Though. I said 10. Okay, so well, for an extra point, can you name the five penalty takers? Grosso, Pirlo, Del Piero, Materazzi, mm -hmm. and De Rossi. Wow. That's Where were you uh, watching uh, that I game? I was at home crying. Yeah, so I was... I was, I was in Milan watching that game. You're in Milan. So what Goal, are the... Goalkeeper was Buffon. Yes. <laughs> so you're... Did you have mixed feelings about... Obviously, you knew you would have been there if you were healthy, but also... It's the dream to see Italy lift the World Cup. Well, listen, I played under 21 and the first team like 16 years, 15 years. Yeah. So it's the best thing in the, 
best thing in the life for really to win a World Cup. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I wasn't there. So I was sad, but I was happy. Right. It's normal. Uh, when you moved to Inter, you broke the transfer fee record. And obviously, that comes with a lot of pressure. And you see big time money moves, big strikers. Lukaku went to Chelsea for 100 plus mil, Darwin Nunez to Liverpool, and they struggle in their first season. You went to Inter and immediately started crushing it. Do you have any advice to people on how you don't let the big price tag get to your head? It's, it's, I don't get the money. I didn't get that money there. That's up to the club. No, no, I know. What they buy me for 40 million, 20 million, 90, I don't care. It's none of my business. Right. Who does the best deal wins. So I didn't really care about that shit there. Yeah. And that's just your advice is for them not to care yeah, about it. You gotta Because it comes with a lot of pressure. The fans Listen, expect a lot you from want, you playing big clubs, big leagues, you're gonna have Right, pressure. there's gonna be pressure no matter what. You don't want the pressure, you go play golf. <laughs> now you go play some sometimes something else. But if you wanna play in those leagues there in the big teams, you're gonna have pressure. Always. It's part of the job. And switch and switching from Inter to AC Milan. Did that come with a lot of backlash? I don't really care. Listen, it's, it's my job, you know. Uh, right. I went away from Inter, I was free. Milan came and said, do you want to come here for two years? I said, okay, let's go. Yeah. I got to think about playing. So every other year you were at somewhere for just one year. And then at Inter you were there for six or six. What kept you, I mean, no, you said you love Milan, no, so that's. Uh, you're playing in Inter, San Siro. Where, where right. do you want to go, you know? So I had an amazing time. We had a good team. We should have won more, a lot more than we, yeah. than we did. But that's how it is, you know, and uh, I'm happy with what I did at the end of the day, you know. Yeah. I did what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So when you do what you want, when you do what you want to do, I think it's the best thing. Completely agree. And so now we have a, obviously a Champions League semifinal. Can you give a prediction? Mm -hmm. I think, I don't know. Listen, yeah. Uh, because we were speaking earlier. And you said, in the final, it's one game, yeah, anything, final, can happen. anything can happen. But Always. over two legs, I sometimes think, the best team does, does I think that Inter have a better team, like this 22, 23 good, good players, you know. Mm -hmm. Their bench is a big bench, it's a long bench, you know. We've right. always said that Inter's got a long bench, Milan doesn't have that, the bench that Inter has. Because when, you know, Dzeko and... Uh, and uh, Lautaro, okay. plays. on the bench you got Lukaku, right. you got Correa, you got like Brozovic, mm -hmm. you've got like uh, De Vrij, you got big players, you yeah. got Gossens, like Milan don't have those players right. there, you know. Do so you think over two legs? I think over two legs, 51 49. Yeah. But the thing is that when it's a derby, it's always 50 50. Anyone right. can win. You say something, the opposite happens. Right. That's how it is all the time, you know. So I think who's luckier and who's more calm. Can, can go through to the final because it's you know here you go to the final right, right. so it's uh, it's not easy a lot of pressure a lot of pressure yeah. done. and in the other stadiums one stadiums are already full yeah stadiums are both full home and away like 80,000 people packed out and you got uh, people ask for 400,000 tickets wow so it's San Siro when it's full like that best place ever best atmosphere in world oh. football it's crazy, crazy. So it's we need to be, get there. It's gonna be, it's one in a lifetime things that you, you feel and you know, it, it, it's an experience that it's, it's, it's amazing to be in those big games like this in San Siro when the, the fans go crazy. And it's a derby to go to the finals of the Champions League. Right. So it's gonna, it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's quite the Good for Italian soccer. Yeah. We needed this. Big time. Serie A is making a huge comeback. Listen, this year's Serie A got five teams that are in the semi-finals. Yeah. I think it's the first time that's ever happened. So they say Serie A is not as big as the Premier League. Okay, it's not as big as the Premier League, you know, okay. Uh, but, you know, Napoli this year won the Scudetto. Mm -hmm. They played, I think, the best football out of the whole year. Yeah. Better than City, better than Bayern, better than uh, Benfica, because Benfica played very good too. Mm -hmm. And they played, they won games, played fantastic football, fantastic, incredible football. So they won the league after 33 years, you know. Inter Milan in the semi-finals of the Champions League. That's big for those two clubs. They're nice because they're not spending the money they used to spend like 20, 20, 25 years ago. Like on you. You know what I mean? So yeah. they've got to work on the players, but you know, you got the budget and all that stuff there. In England, they're spending like three, four, five times more yeah. than it. So it's not easy to, com to compete with them. Mm -hmm. So you got an Inter Milan derby in the semi-finals. You got Rome and Juventus in the 
Europa, Europa League, League in the semifinals. Mm -hmm. If they win, they, they, they're going to find themselves in the final. Yep. That's fantastic. And in the Conference League, you're Fiorentina. Yep. You don't get better than that. So the league is starting to grow and it's getting better every year. So a lot of players, because now when you don't have big budgets, you got to go look for players. Scouting is more important. Scouting is phenomenal in this moment here for the for these Italian yeah. teams. And they're doing a good job. They're doing a good job because Carlos, Carlos Vela, 10 million euro they paid. Yeah. You see him now, it's worth 120, 130, yeah. 150. Or is it meant the same? So now you've got players that, you know, that brought them for not a big amount, but if they sell them, they're going to get big money. So the scouting is very important now for the Italian league. How do you think they combat the fact that Osimhen might be on his way out after a great season in Serie A? Like, how do they continue to stay at that level? You go find other players. Yeah. They're already talking about two, three good players. But I don't know if they're going to sell him straight away. Because the president yesterday said that he wants to win another Scudetto in right. the Champions League. So let's see what happens. All right. Thank you very much, Christian. I appreciate it. Uh, next time we won't even bother bringing the pizza. No. No. <laughs> Not or maybe next time we're in Italy, you can bring us to your favorite you spot. Come, well, I go to, I've been going to the same place since I went to Inter 1999. Every day at lunch. It's called Mimos. I go there every day at lunch and there for 24 years. Best pasta. Big time recommendation. Best pasta in Italy. Thank you very much. See you guys.